had nothing to eat but crumbs. He had no friends on this earth except the dog. Boy, I'm sure there were times that he wished he could be in the fellowship of believers like me and you. That's why I, I, I'm going to say something. That's why that we need to invite people who might not look the status quo. We shouldn't deprive anybody from hearing the gospel. I don't care if they come in here with holes in their jeans. I don't care what they look like. They need Jesus. The world needs Jesus. And we need to go out there and proclaim to the world and say, hey, you know, Jesus is a reason for the season. And we need to be examples for him. And we need to witness. Too many times we get caught up. We get caught up in our own little lives. And when we go to our Walmarts and when we go to our malls, we forget to realize that when we're in there hustle and bustle of buying a J.C. Penney's and we're buying suits and we're buying leather coats, that there's people in there that are lost. There's people in there that could die and go to hell. That's why I'm telling you, that's why I'm telling you that wherever you go, you better stop and think. Is the person getting groceries ahead of you? Is he saved? Where is he going when he dies? Because let me tell you something. Hell is reality. And, it's, and, and, and you're either going to go to one or two places. There's no purgatory. Like somebody says, uh, well, we'll pray you out of purgatory. Ain't no praying out of hell. You ain't going to get prayed out. Understand this, hell, when you die, it's a torture area. You're going to be tortured within your mind. Listen, listen to this. 